Hey, you. Over here. Yeah, you. You want to be like this cool guy? You want to learn about diverse culture? Well, you've come to the right place. Are you ready to learn? Hello, everybody. My name is Damon Gussens, and I'm here to talk about our school system and racism. Now, in all seriousness, our school system and racism is a pretty big problem, as many of you have probably seen firsthand, maybe not a severe, or maybe not an experience at all, but I've heard stories from various different people talking about their experiences with racism and how the school system doesn't really acknowledge nor punish those actions. And the reason I want to bring it up is because of the current situation as well with racism and how we're changing the definition of racism and what it stands for. Racism in itself is discrimination against a person or a group of people based on race or ethnicity. And with the current situations as we see right now, we can see that that definition is changing with the involvement of movement groups such as Black Lives Matter and various different workforce, public related groups that address these situations. The importance of introducing the meaning of race and the different races and ethnicities plays a bigger role in understanding people in general and ending racism as a whole. It's the incorporation in our educational system. To understand how we would combat racist behavior in our educational system, we first need to understand the severity of racism in schools. Now, a study from the Ohio State University found that, that African American students are less likely than white students to have access to college ready materials, as well as having less scholarly opportunities, such as honor, roll, or honor courses. Aside from the academic limitations African American students get, they also experience microaggressions from peers and negative comments saying that they aren't worthy to study just as much as white students. The importance of this information is to address the already negative comments that some students may have gotten already in the educational system by other peers, teachers, or anybody else, as of that matter. It is possible that some students have already gone in some sort of racism or have been told racist remarks. And the importance of this is to inform all students of all races to stop the negative stereotypes brought on by other people. And by understanding different races and exploring your own race, it broadens students' mind and makes them feel more accepted. One example of students exploring the race and culture comes from an article talking about the lack of diversity in Arizona schools. In this article, John Prother, a Chandler history teacher, talks about how he was really blown away about the students' reactions going to college and university campuses that are mainly African American. Now you may be asking, how do we solve the problem of racism in our educational system? Now solving the problem entirely would be a pretty difficult feat to complete in one sitting. The idea of racism fully, fully going away in a certain time span isn't something that we can count on. Instead, there are certain measures that we can implement in order for students to feel more comfortable and to, to expand their view on the different races and religions of their peers. One of these examples would be, in John Prothero's case, taking these students to different colleges or universities that host these diverse events where they mention different diversities, different cultures, and focus on the many different um, races and their different cultures that divide them. And the other thing is to create a friendly environment within teachers, staff, and students. And although I don't believe racism itself could be removed from this one change in our education system, I do believe that implementing steps towards non-racist remarks and exploring different cultures and exploring different ethnicities could lead to a future without racism.